and welcome back to our training videos on ProPresenter 7. Today's video will be about video inputs. To get to video input configuration, you can go to preferences or you can go to your media bin, go to video input, click on the plus button, and then select video input configuration. This will open the preferences and take you to the video input tab. Now you can decide how many video inputs you want by either hitting the up and down arrow or putting a number into the box. Then you can choose where your video input is coming from, whether it's a built-in camera or a video input from a hardware device or a networked video from NDI or potentially a siphon video from another software on your computer. So you'd select your device, then you could also name your device. And now you can find this video input throughout ProPresenter. So if you go to your media bin and you click the plus button, you can now select input one and you could select it right here and make it go live. You can also right click on it, change its behavior, its scaling. You can go to inspector, you can put a transition on it. You can go back to your video input setup and all of your normal right click menu settings. You can also take this video and drop it straight into a presentation or you can go to your presentation editor, go to a slide, and you can add a video input, and it'll look like this box with the yellow lines through it. Or if you had a text box already, you could go to the shape menu, the shape tab, select fill, choose video input, and then you would have to pick your video input you can go to inspector and you can change your scaling right here. If your video input is live, all you'd have to do is click this button to clear it. Thank you for watching this video on ProPresenter Video Inputs.